uh, what happened at the Capitol on January 6th was as wrong as wrong can be. It is not what America is about. Political violence of any kind is wrong. We condemn this violence. We commend the men and women of the Capitol Police for their bravery, and we mourn those who've lost their lives. All political violence should be condemned all the time. This should not be a partisan issue. Republicans have been consistent. We condemned the violence last summer. We condemned the violence last week. Congress needs to stop this, this effort to remove the president from office just one week before he is set to leave. Continued calls to impeach the president or remove him from office with using the 25th Amendment, I don't think are healthy for our nation. Rushing this resolution to the floor will do nothing to unify or heal the country. Under the plan Speaker Pelosi laid out on Sunday, the Democrats plan to impeach the president a second time just days before, as I said, he is set to leave. These actions will only again continue to divide the nation. Turning to the 25th Amendment into a political weapon by demanding that the vice president invoke it to remove the president from office, I think is just wrong. Let's be clear. Democrats have been wanting to remove President Trump from office since he won the election in 2016. They failed with the Russia investigation, they failed with the Mueller investigation, and they failed with their first impeachment investigation. So here we are again, considering another divisive effort to go after President Trump. We should use this time to bring the nation together, heal our partisan divisions. We should use this time to help the small business owners across the country who are struggling because of government's actions that close their businesses and close their stores. We should use this time to honor the men and women of law enforcement here at the Capitol and across the country who sacrifice themselves to keep our families safe. But it looks like we're not gonna go down that path. We're here again to consider a Democrat resolution to attack the president just eight days before he has said he will leave office, just eight days before we will have a peaceful transition of power as we have had in this country every four or eight years since our nation's founding. I urge my colleagues to oppose this resolution and would yield back.